Here are 36 mistakes you probably never noticed in One Piece. Did you know that One Piece is so excellently written that it almost never features any major plot holes? However, in some cases, Oda and One Piece are guilty for some inconsistencies, whether these are plot related or just design errors in both the anime and the manga. For example, did you know that Nami was once animated with six toes by accident? No, Nami does not have any mutations. She only has five toes. After a thorough research, I made sure of that. This animation error was not the only one, actually, as this girl from Amazon Lily named Marguerite was animated with three uh? legs. One, two, three. This is just proof that life is not fair. Other people are left with one leg, while others get extra limbs out of nowhere. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Speaking of missing limbs, did you notice that Shanks was also featured in an animation error as well? That's because he was animated with both of his hands when he met Ace. Sensational. Crocodile also received the same treatment, as he was seen lighting his cigar with both of his arms, when in reality, he should have a hook instead of one of them. Not only that, but in one occasion in the manga, he was drawn with both arms when he was seen in prison. Another mistake involving Crocodile was during Crocodile's and Luffy's discussion, where Crocodile's hook is briefly shown as gold, despite him having already switched to the silver poisonous one. But you see, these mistakes are nothing in front of the next plot-related mistakes. When it comes to plot-related errors, I'll begin by mentioning Oda totally throwing away the sun weakness of Moria's zombies during Marineford, as we saw them having no problem during the war. Another error involving Moria's zombies is that Moria summoned zombies from the ice that Aokiji had just created. But if you pay close attention, you can see that the zombies came out with patches, which doesn't make sense. That's because normally, the patches occur from Hogback fixing up the zombies. Also in Marineford, Crocodile being able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the other warlords, even though he was defeated by a much weaker Luffy early on in the series, was something that many fans found odd. This was also one of the reasons many people started supporting the Croco Mum theory, in the sense that Crocodile allowed Luffy to defeat her because Luffy was her son. Did you know that Sanji was also involved with a plot hole? You see, all the way back in the East Blue, when Luffy was drowning, Sanji had no idea that Devil Fruit users couldn't swim. Several episodes later, in Thriller Bark Arc, he reveals his desire for Absalom's devil fruit. He mentions how, even as a child, he dreamed of eating this devil fruit, even if that meant giving up his ability to swim. So why didn't he know that Luffy couldn't swim then? Speaking of devil fruit users not being able to swim, did you notice that in Wano Arc, Kinemon hid underwater? Notice a problem here? He's a devil fruit user, so normally he should not have been able to do that without sinking at the bottom. These were just 10 of the 36 insane mistakes we found in One Piece. Stick till the end, because the next ones are even more mind-blowing. Remember the incident when Lucky Roo shot the Mountain Bounty? Well, in the original episode, as we can see, Lucky Roo is way shorter than Shanks. From what we see, we would estimate him to be around 1.5 meters tall. Fast forward to Marineford. Wait, is that right? Yep, he's now basically a giant. Taking into consideration that Shanks is actually 1.99 meters tall, then that means that Lucky Roo is around three meters tall now, meaning that within a few months, Lucky Roo has doubled in size. Back in the early chapters, it was stated that devil fruits originate from a so-called illusion tree. Fast forward to the Punk Hazard arc, and we see a devil fruit being created in real time. Although there might be a connection with an illusion tree later on in the story? I highly doubt it. This was probably just an early thought of Oda that was later changed. Another plot-related mistake we found was that Luffy was stated to have never killed a person. When asked about it, Oda actually replied that Luffy prefers to shatter the dreams of his opponents instead. But for someone that's never killed anyone, I'm not so sure if this guy is still alive. Well, if this guy is still alive, I'm pretty sure he no longer walks at all after that. Back to animation errors. Did you notice that Zoro practically learned to use the Shadow Clone Jutsu? What? As he was animated twice in this filler episode. <laughs> After the time skip, Nico Robin was supposed to undergo a design change, which, cough cough, I think Zoro was the one requesting that change. However, during the time skip, Nico Robin's design was, well, something. Oda later stated that he did not feel happy with Robin's time skip design, and hence changed it once more. And thus, coming up with the current design Nico Robin has. Perfection. Another design change had to do with Kaido. As stated by Oda in a recent SBS, and as shown from early teases of the Yonkos, Kaido was meant to have a completely different design.
right. Imagine Luffy going from beating such a badass character like Katakuri to actually getting his ass kicked multiple times by a goofy character that looks like that. <laughs> Thank God Oda changed that. While some animation errors are more obvious, others are less so. But when someone spends hours researching like we do, then you're gonna find more fascinating mistakes than most people would ever notice on their own. You see this log post? Well, the correct name is actually Marvel, meaning that the log post had its own country name spelled wrong. Another spelling mistake was of this Marine called Mashikaku, that he had his hat spelling the word Marine without the I. Pathetic. Halfway through the video, and I'm sure you've already found many One Piece mistakes you were not aware of. So, why not subscribe since you're at it? Here, the One Piece content never ends. While you press that subscribe button, we'll get back into the video. Right before the One Piece movie, the film Red, premiered, the anime went on a small filler arc that served as an introduction to the movie. This arc took place when Luffy was a kid. Although this was not a plot-related mistake, can anyone please explain to me why Luffy looks like that? That ain't Luffy, this is Poofy. <laughs> Some mistakes, on the other hand, did not take part in the anime, but rather the manga. Did you know that on chapter 698, Zoro was drawn with Luffy's characteristic X mark on the chest? This was later corrected during the publication of volume 70. Another mistake that had to do with Zoro happened in chapter 598, where Zoro had his eye scar on the wrong eye. This was, of course, addressed and corrected later on in chapter 599. Not only that, but on the cover of chapter 699, Oda completely forgot to add a scar on Zoro's eye. Instead, Instead, he just drew him with a closed eye. If you thought that Zoro was featured in enough mistakes so far, well, not exactly. On episode 130, we see Zoro's 60 million bounty for the first time. But you see, on episode 152, the picture in his wanted poster was different. For those not seeing a difference, in episode 152, at the side of the wanted picture, we can see Usopp's nose. Well, this was not visible on the first bounty. But again, the mistakes that have to do with Zoro don't end here. On chapter 1058, Zoro's bounty became 1.111 billion berries. However, when the chapter was translated in English by Viz Media, his bounty became 1 billion 100 million 1,100 berries instead. Ugh, that was a nightmare to pronounce. Zoro receiving Enma was one of the most important power boosts he received so far. But did you know that there's a thing that does not really make sense here? Odin used to hold Enma, and as you can see, it fits his waist quite comfortably. But when Zoro uses Enma, it also fits his waist perfectly. So the issue here is that Odin is more than twice the height of Zoro, and yet the same sword fits both of them the same way. Did you notice anything suspicious in this picture? Well, Zoro holds two swords in his hands, but also has three more on his waist. For anyone ready to say this is not a mistake, well, please look more carefully. These are not just scabbards. The grip is there as well, meaning Zoro now has five swords after all. How about here? Can you spot the mistake? Well, Buggy's nose is supposed to be red, while in this manga panel, it's white. A small mistake that does not make any major difference, but still fits the theme of today's video. Last chance to find the mistake on your own. Do you see it? Luffy was drawn with two straw hats, one on his head and one flying. Another small plot hole was when the straw hats saw a dragon during the punk hazard arc and said that they'd never seen one before. But you see, they technically did. They saw Ryu, an old dragon on the warship island arc. Although that was a filler arc, it did create a small plot hole in the canon story. Another mistake was during this scene. When Sanji pulls Luffy out of the water, Luffy's hands are by his side. And then in the exact next panel, his hands are above his head. Do you think this was an animation error? Or was Luffy just faking it so he could take a nap? How about this one? Did you notice this mistake in episode 97? In one scene, Ace's hat features one happy and one sad face. But in the next, both of the faces become happy, which was obviously an animation error. Another animation error was during this one episode that Law's back was shown. Although it is not clearly visible from this picture, when zooming in, the tribute to Corazon became a tribute to Kyozon, whoever that guy might be. The next straw hat involved with an animation error is Frankie. As in this scene, we can see his shirt being tied all the way up on his head, instead of ending, you know, where shirts are meant to end. Maybe not being tied on a person's face. On episode 613, after Zoro cut Monet in half, Toshigi stands up in her feet, and in her left hip appeared her sword. However, the issue is that just a few moments ago, she had lost her weapon. We mentioned 33 mistakes so far in One Piece. However, we've yet to mention some questionable designs whenever a viewer actually pauses One Piece. We won't present all of them, but just so you get an idea, this is what early One Piece looks like when you pause the anime. In Wano War, we see that Yamato's physique is, well, in the very least, inconsistent. One episode, we see her having a huge smile, and then in the next episode, her smile 
smile no. is gone. I guess that's what happens when you put a man in charge of an episode versus when you put a woman. Men know exactly what plot points other men are interested in. Last but not least, probably the most important plot hole in all of One Piece is Ace's stomach hole. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Oh, come on, don't come at me. It's still a hole, and it's definitely plot-related. The anime content never ends. Make sure to check out these videos as well.